Hello, Assalamualaikum. Welcome to my Nana's channel. Please listen and subscribe it. My name is Aisha. Nice to meet you. Today's topic is what were the results, impact, and consequences of World War One and Two on the entire world. This lecture is about strategically important topics of international relations, political science, global strategic studies, global affairs, and general knowledge of the world. Lectures can be helpful for study of A and O levels, undergraduate, graduate, bachelor's, bachelor's, B.S. and Master's in World Universities and Competitive Examinations of the World. Please subscribe and share with the students. Thanks. The Divine Nature ended the World War I with the conception of victors that they have been succeeded in perpetuating their control they imposed and forced Germans to sign the Treaty of Versailles. Fortunately, contrary to their thinking, Treaty of Versailles gave birth to the benefactor of world who mitigated the power and vitality of suckers of blood of people and occupiers of entire world. He is best known in the pages of history as the Adolf Hitler. The end of World War I and II entirely altered the contours of future world. The divine nature desired to bring revolutionary and beneficent developments for the subjugated humanity throughout world. The obvious outcome, impact and result of both world wars is the start of transformation of world and of both world wars brought destruction for the European nations in all fields of life and brought the breeze and of wars brought the breeze of freedom around the world and nations of world got freedom from clutches of European powers. Only the divine will of Allah Almighty made this possible. The divine nature decided to trim down or reduce the power of European colonial, colonial and bestow freedom and salvation to nations seeking and praying for his wrath. Allah Almighty brought unparalleled loss of lives and destruction in both world wars only to inflict wrath besieged by the oppressed nations of entire world. Allah Almighty destroyed the, these mighty empires into insignificant pieces. Their people confronted enormous difficulties and become pauper. Their women were forced to sell their prestige to the thirsty American soldiers. No one could have thought about this epsimal plight of European people. It was the reward of divine nature for innumerable cruelties which the European nations perpetrated upon the innocent people of Asia, Africa, America, irrespective of race, creed, color, and region. These mighty powers tried to spread or impose their ideological and political sphere through war and execution. The end of World War II proved last nail in the coffin, coffin of Europe. The result, the result of these wars created new international, political, economic, and strategic 
structure or order in the world. Before the World War II, there were only 51 recognized states and currently world has more than 200 sovereign independent states. The question agitates the minds that from where these states emerged. They were emerged from womb of European colonial powers which they have forcibly retained against the will of subjugated people. The desire and struggle for political and economic freedom compels the people to find new avenues that alter the social structure in countries of the world. World of the people, the people of world with the help of enemies of powers, colonial powers, colonial powers, static, valiant, valiant, struggle, and, and unparalleled, unparalleled, parallel, parallel, sacrifice, sacrifice, born, born, the fruits of freedom, of freedom. From the from cruel, the cruel, cruel, cruel European nations. European nations. Leaders of world perceived that they stopped the world wars. One, one and two. In my humble opinion, these wars were stopped by the will of Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty listened, listened the prayers of oppressed people of entire world against the increment cruelties committed by the European nations. Allah Almighty ultimately decided to punish the European nations for cruelty which they inflicted upon the humanity of entire world since centuries. They did not spare any religious community of the world. They committed acts of cruelty unparalleled in the annals of human history like today Israel with the help of NATO countries committing genocide of innocent Palestinian people in Gaza. The divine nature has brought about enormous and transformative changes that are invisible to human thinking. The divine nature during World War I and II caused colossal loss of Europeans. European continent lost its potency and looked to their once subjugated people of America for survival. They, they gave help but at exorbitant price. The extensive impact was vis visible in social, political and economic fields. European social moral fabric was tarnished and degraded as they brutally degraded the social life of their subjugated people during their increment rule. The result of World War II really proved that entire world was transformed and brought sigh of relief for entire humanity around the world. The both victors and losers lost everything. The divine will brought in the invisible developments towards the achievement of universal recognition of erstwhile subjugated humanity. In my opinion, besides conventional results, consequences or impact proffered or suggested are written by European historians. These are the real results of both world wars brought by the divine will of Allah Almighty. The beneficial Results and impact for humanity are as under number one. Divine nature started 
decolonization and help emergence of new sovereign states in the world from the belly of european number 2 european divine nature gave recognition and role of smaller states in international relations divine nature doomed or destroyed colonial occupiers by raising hitler who crumbled them number 4 divine nature doomed european powers and created bipolar and multipolar world order to maintain equilibrium in favor of smaller states number 5 divine nature spread the wave of liberty freedom democracy and equality divine number 6 divine nature created concept of new balance of power in the world number 7 divine nature assimilated strong desire for peace and equality among nations eight number 8 divine nature help in emergence of new international inter- institutions just like united nations to look after subjugated humanity that is why 143 new states emerged and to great extent protected by new rules of international system or international law number 9 divine nature doomed brutal and inequitable international political and economic systems the united in present era the united states of america along with european states and israel as usual still unable to comprehend the supreme will of almighty allah again unleashed terror against the interest of newly liberated states around the world in one or the other way they brutally killed millions in south east asia middle east central america afghanistan iraq and africa in the so called name of their vital interest and democratic values we should good luck take care of yourself and others thank you see you in next lecture